Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I've got another big gift box. Um, I'm just in a gift box mood at the moment. So, um, and with the arrival of some new dies that I've got from Hobby Base, I they just inspired me to do some beautiful big boxes. So this one here is five and a half by five and a half by five and a half. <laughs> Let me just double check. No, five by five and a half tall. Yeah, so five by five bottom and five and a half tall. So a nice, really nice size this one is. Um, it's also kind of evolved from the big bow gift box that I done in my Christmas series um, a while back and I'll share that link um, because that's the same big bow that I've put on top here but because it was a Christmas box I thought I loved it so much let's do it as like a birthday box um, or you know anything really um, so this is what I've done and it is gorgeous you just open up the top and you've got this really nice huge big box there it's all reinforced well, the top and the bottom is all reinforced um, and then on the sides here I've just die cut these um, circles and covered them with acetate and then on the top I put these adorable die cuts which are from Hobby Base it's their new precision craft dies and I've used my favorite bumblebee and the really detailed butterfly um, so you can see there there's the bumblebee the butterfly and I've just alternate each one as you go around so and I think they just really give it a little wow factor. So I thought this would be nice um, to put a big candle in or, so, or anything really, but you can gift wrap it in tissue, obviously, so you don't see it. Um, and yeah, I think it's really, really lovely. So that is what we're gonna make today. So you will need, obviously, these little dies here, and I've pre-cut, and you can just see there, if I bring that up, look how detailed that is and what I've done is I've just rolled each side of them you can see there so it just brings them to life so they just lift up off the, off the, um, the surface there um, and I just think it just gives them a little bit more and there's the bumblebee again in detail you can see it's just so pretty I absolutely love these so I've pre-cut all of these so I've done two of each obviously you can do whatever ones you want to but that's um, ones I wanted to do then you are going to need, bring all this across. So I've already done my bow because what you need to do is just revert back to the video um, for the big bow gift box, which I will share now, just up here somewhere. And um, also at the end of the video as well, there'll be a, a pop-up for it. But this is the one that I've already done. You can see there, it's just gorgeous. Now this is from a sheet of 12 by 12 paper and then it, cut one inch strips and then cut those one inch strips um, down three inches so you get four per strip okay so this one is a bit fuller than the other one but if you follow the tutorial for the the start of it and then you can kind of just add to it um, and I just put more in just to kind of fill it out a bit more but it's gorgeous and I think that really makes the box then you are going to need in terms of cards so for the top and the bottom so this is the reinforced side little um, like trays really these are um, 8 and 1 16th of an inch squared okay um, so you need two pieces of that you need four pieces of acetate again obviously that piece is optional if you don't have acetate if you don't have a die cut machine you can still make this box it will still look lovely without this die cut circle um, and you can just put your um, you know whatever you want to decorate it with if it's just more um, DSP you can just stick that obviously as I've done without cutting the circles okay so don't be put off by that you can still make it but if you do have acetate you need four pieces of four and a half by five okay you then need four pieces of any um, car uh, pattern paper that you want to decorate with on the sides so this measures four and three quarters by five and a quarter so again you want four pieces of that and then you want two pieces of card which is actually going to make your case your shell and this measures at uh, ten and a half by five and a half actually it's just shy isn't it Oh no, it's not, sorry, it's, um, yeah, because I've had to do this slightly less, so it was 10, what was that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
three, four, five, six, seven sixteenths. That was it, sorry. Ten and seven sixteenths of an inch. Because this is slotting inside, um, so it needs to come in just that tiny, tiny little bit. So yeah, so ten and seven sixteenths of an inch by five and a half. Okay, so starting with these, so you'll have two pieces. Um, what you want to do is along the 10 and 7 sixteenths of an inch side, you're going to score at half an inch and at five and a half inches. Okay, so do that on both of your pieces of that one. Then you need to grab your two pieces of your eight and one um, sixteenth of an inch, and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch one and a half inches and then you want to pull the card out slightly okay so you can see that I'm just revealing the a little bit of the base of my um, scoreboard and then you want to score at six and five eighths of an inch and seven and three eighths of an inch okay and then rotate and make sure it's all pushed into the corner and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch one and a half inches again pull that card out and you're going to score again at six and five eighths of an inch and seven and three eighths of an inch okay so repeat that again on that second piece that you have um okay so that's all of the scoring done just get rid of my base and my scoreboard right okay so what you want to do first is we do the the, the top and the bottom so we're we'll make this piece and this piece. So grab the piece that you've just scored and you just want to burnish all of those sides and this is just the same as all those reinforced um, boxes that I make. This is just more of a tray size. Um, so again if you know what you're doing here then you can just speed ahead and get that done. Okay, so what you want to do is, let me grab my scissors, and you are going to cut down and down, like so. So you've got two bits like that, and then cut in there, cut in there, cut that piece out and just take a little notch off of those okay so that is what you want to have so you can see a slightly cut in here on the angle notch that piece and cut in on the angle there okay do the same on this side here so again just cut straight down and again and then you just want to slightly notch that piece that piece out and then just on all of those edges just take a little bit off okay so that is what you want to have so now you want to mirror that on this side here so just rotate the whole thing round and again just cut exactly the same and that's what you should have okay so grab yourself some glue and you just want to pop some glue on the corners here, you can use fuse, you can use um, double sided tape okay, and then just work your way around and you're just going to bring the two corners together there and then stick that tab down inside okay so you get a nice corner like that and just go around each corner and do that okay so that's all of the corners together and then all you want to do is again you want to put glue on the outer tabs like so and then just fold that back in on itself and with a bone tool just spread that glue out inside and make sure you give yourself a nice crisp side there to your lid or base whatever this one will be it doesn't matter because they're both the same so just go around and repeat that with the glue on all of those tabs okay so that is what you want to have this tray 
Okay, so repeat that and do that on the second piece so you'll have two of these and then we'll come back to those in a minute. So now you want to move over to those white, um, well mine are white, yours will be obviously a different colour, but your sides, so your actual case to the box. And what you're going to do is with your two pieces of patterned paper, you're going to stick them into each square and you should have a little um, one eighth of an inch border around each one. Obviously that's the tab there, but you can kind of see the border around each one. So just stick them down. I'm just using double sided tape. Okay, like so. And then you want to grab a circle frame. Now obviously this bit's optional. You might want to do square, do any shape you want. It doesn't have to be a circle. And this measures, I'll just give you a rough measurement here three and one eighth of an inch between three and one eighth and three and a quarter okay but that's fine as long as it's as close to that and basically all you're going to do is lie this down let me just grab some just of my low tack um washi tape here so you just want to pop that circle so it's centered in this the dsp square there um and just roughly i just hold, hover my ruler over the top there so it's three quarters, that's all right, three quarters, and then just under one inch, and yeah, just about there, I'm happy with that. So just stick that in place, and you just want to run that through your die machine. And repeat that on this one as well, so you've got two. Okay, so that's what it should look like, and then you'll have these two... Um, discs. You want to repeat that on your second uh, white piece of card so you'll actually end up having four of these. Now one of them is, is good to have as your base to do your um, ooh, your bow for the top. Okay so when you see the other video um, I use a circle disc to start sticking them all around so this is handy for that. Um, but otherwise keep them. You might want to use them if you're not um, you don't want to do a bow for example you might want to put that on top and you can have the sentiment on them um, but otherwise they're just nice to keep for maybe making some cards or some little note cards or something so keep all of those um, so again so you need to redo that on that other one and then you want to grab the four pieces of acetate and we're going to stick these reverse there and you're going to stick them uh, on like so Okay, so I'm just going to pop some double-sided tape. Pop some double-sided tape. Just hug the outside of each side of the acetate with your tape. You don't want to use wet glue on this unless you're using the most tiniest amount and you really hug the outside of the acetate because what you don't want to do is when you stick it down and it's, it kind of squashes in between the acetate and the card and it end up coming into your circled area. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so I've put the tape on both of mine and just hover it over so that it's got a nice even border and you're covering that circle. Okay. So. Now when we flip it over, you've got two nice little windows. Okay, so there's one I done earlier. That's my cutouts there. So I've now got those two pieces. So what we can do next is stick them together. So this, either end, it doesn't matter. Oh, you just need to burnish it as well. I didn't do that one. Okay, and then you're gonna stick one over the top like so, and then join up those corners as well. So I'm gonna use some of my Use the double sided tape again, so just hover it over the top there so it's joining with that score line. Okay, and then bring these two pieces over and you want to stick along there the same. And then you should just be able to lie that one on top. Okay. So there you will have your square case, okay? Now grab your little die cuts, and all I done was just splodged a little bit of my Tombow, a little bit on the antenna there as well. 
and then just sit that and lie it over the top. And that's why I curved the sides of the die. Um, I can wipe that. Once that glue dries, if it leaves any like smudges, you can wipe it with a tissue and it'll come off a dry tissue. Um, but you can see how it lifts off there. It just gives it a really nice effect. So I'll do my bumblebee and just make sure you get it all nicely lined up there. Like so. And then do it on the back. It doesn't matter if you squash them because you can just lift them all back. All right, so there you now have it all decorated. It looks adorable. This is so, so sweet. Okay, now we need to fix it into our top and our bottom. So you'll see, well, you might not see, but this, I, the one I'd done earlier is actually a little bit um, deeper. This is one inch, whereas the ones that I've shown you are three quarters. And I decided to change it. So although this box is going to look slightly different to yours in terms of the base um, height of this, um, I just felt that three quarters of an inch was better than one inch because it just gave you a nicer border. So here on this one, this is one inch and I just felt it just needed a little bit more here to be exposed. So by bringing it up that quarter of an inch, you just get a bit more of a nicer border. Okay, so if any of you do pick up that tiny detail there, like I said, you'll probably only notice it in the photos. So all I'm doing now is you just want to put some tape along the bottom so make sure you've got it obviously up the right way. You just run the tape around the bottom of all four sides. And then take all of that tape off. So now you want to decide what's your top and your bottom because you might have different colours. I know that this slightly bigger one with the one inch is going to go at the bottom. But what you want to do is hold it like so and then just push in. Squeeze it in like that so you get that shape. Okay, and then I bring this over by doing that shape, okay, like what I've done there, squeezing it all in. You want to pop it into your tray and make sure each corner lines up to each corner of the tray. Okay, and once it does, you can then let go and go around and stick all your sides down. Okay. So you see there, just if I drop this one down slightly, typical me, I get to the last one and think, no, I'm going to change it. Um, whereas if I put that one on now, you can see it's got a nice bigger, which is what you will have. And I think that, I think that looks a bit nicer. Um, so there you go. Then put the top on and there is your box. So then all I need to do is with some of my, I'll use, I'll use this tacky glue. Um, no, I'm going to use my glue gun, but I'll do that off camera because I want to stick that on. I need to warm my glue gun up actually. But once that's on, that is what it will look like. And I think that is adorable. It is such a cute box. It's a really strong box. It's a really big box. And it will just look lovely in... This one will look lovely afterwards in the little girl's room just to use as a storage box. So... Um, you could put lots of um, cosmetics, makeup, things like that in it as well. So I think it's got lots of uses. So I'm going to keep that one like that for a minute and stick that down off camera. Um, but there you go. Two very lovely, adorable gift boxes. Sit them on their side there and just hold that one. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, all the links to everything I've used I will um, share in the description box below. Um, hit the like button, subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.